Welcome to your daily dose of dopamine. My name is Robert. That's my pal Susan. Hello, hello. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey, I just pounded my shirt. Let me let me point this out just because I'm pounding. Uh, my shirt. Yeah, that was close, oh. wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, can you read that, or is that too weird? Oh like, no, no. Strength in numbers. That's what I want to talk about. Yeah, it's, it's the Warriors thing from a couple of years ago. Every year, the NBA does a great job of like each team comes up with a uh, a motto, and it becomes their playoff motto. Um, and like, uh, you know, it, 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 sometimes they'll repeat, but generally it, it changes. Strength in numbers, I think, was the Warriors for a couple of years. And they I do. Have one. Oh, you have one. <laughs> they did it based on, you know, kind of saying that that's, that's who they were as an organization, right? Uh, that they were going to be better as a group, right? Um, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Right. And I think that's one of those concepts. People love the idea of it. And yet, for some reason, they people a lot of people have a hard time actually doing that they really default back to great idea i'm going to do it myself mm. do you see that mm. hmm. i probably depends on which world we're talking about which i don't know do you yes i see it everywhere <laughs> i i think it has to do with something we talk a lot about here which is trust um <laughs> that that in order to have strength in numbers you have to trust the fellow numbers indeed yes right that um time thinking it you know from a a basketball perspective taking the warriors as a case study they had to have a lot of people subjugate their own egos uh and a classic story they tell is that you may know andre Iguodala, who was you know, at the time, uh, a reigning all-star, fantastic player, and they asked him to come off the bench, mm -hmm. which is a big ask of a player of that level, and, and he did it, and it made them better. He made the second unit strength in numbers. He rose mm -hmm. up that group mm -hmm. with all-star play, and, you know, eventually when it got to the finals, they said, hey, actually, we do need you back in the starting lineup, and they put him there. But Yeah, so that says multiple things, right? He put his ego aside if there was one right the team had to get over whatever they had going on in their head judgment shall we say right yeah yeah be I, open to possibility well and and that's exactly be open to possibility it, it filters back into what we do right that you know think of we played this morning a lovely jam for joy um and you know a lot of the games we played right that one adjustment i made it was an insight that that i wasn't expecting to make but the difference in you know when i asked you guys to take your name and to make sure to say you are you know i'm jim you are jim and mm -hmm. i am jenny right you can't get to who you are until you've acknowledged who they are right so that simple you are was such an important uh because not everyone was doing it i was like okay and, and i could see because people are rushing ahead they're getting the next thing it's like you need to trust that the thing that was offered was what you need to build what's ahead. Well, let me ask you, you said you can't get to who you are until you acknowledge who they are. Is that true? Within this scope. To, to, okay. If, okay. if the goal is to connect, right, you could certainly make up anything. You know, if you say, Jim, well, I'm, I'm Peter Paul of France. And it could not necessarily, you didn't hear Jim at all. You were just so excited to be Peter Paul of France and you could be that. That's fine. That's different than acknowledging that person really keeping them there and then saying based on you i'm this i'm going to yes and you mm -hmm. that so yes can you it's a, you know just like basketball can lebron james individually beat a strength in numbers team well he did you know and i shouldn't say kyrie irving was pretty damn good too that second year but i mean it's not a perfect system i still think it's a better system by <laughs> by building incrementally within the numbers that's my yeah. argument I'm going to tell you what I just did, though. I, I translated it right out into the real world. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even in, in the improv yaks world. I was thinking if, if I can't, if I don't acknowledge who you are, then I, I, if, how did you say that? Yeah, that's right. How can I get to who I am? Yes. And, and out in the real world, it's, it still kind of holds, but it was helpful it, it, and it's helpful to have made that distinction for me to understand i hear you i think it depends on what level of access you want and this is a societal thing right i mean 
and said, do you want to be part of the whole and gain all the benefit of, or do you want the, you know, bootstrap? I'm on my own. Don't tread on me. And we have very different philosophies in this country as we see, right? Um, yes. So that speaks to uh, real communication uh, and, and even before the communication to try to get a sense of who the other person is. You, you don't want to prejudge or predetermine something without knowing. And sometimes you need to have a whole conversation to get there. But um, if you want to, if you want to play in the same sandbox, you kind of got to understand what the rules of the sandbox are. I think this will be a good cap to this. So you may have heard this one before. I've heard it attributed as an African proverb. I'm not exactly sure it's root, but if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is a lovely cap. Yeah. That's your five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs>